it was great to drive the Tata Winger after after a very long time, maybe three years after the COVID. All the rights of entering site, and they all started competition of chewing, not the chewing gum. So they they, they do they chewed all my wires in the fourteen seater Tata Winger. <coughs> School van. It was one of the best um, vehicle which we had. All my children loved it. Very comfortable one. And we 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 drove down from here to Goa once uh, in that van. Um, so now it was ready, and I took it to took it out morning, early morning, five thirty. And it's very very smooth. Everybody said, "Don't repair the new one. Very expensive." So we thought. Uh, Getting it done, we got it done, and then when I was in my with some function, I got a call from children telling our home minister's wife is come and she wanted me. I think she would have told me. Now I'm already now in a far away place, and by the time that was finished, my Donson he went and he was practicing. Um, um, gymnastics. Donson means my bull. He went and picked up my, my Nepali worker and threw him upside down. So they brought him in an ambulance and he was taken to the hospital. I'm tired, coming back here. My kids are telling, no smile on your face. I said, and so many beauties are around me, one beast should be there. So I was trying to loosen up my face so much of stress in that. The Ernest Hemingway, born on 21st July 1899 in the Oak Park in Illinois in the United States, died on 2nd July 1961 in Ketchumidaho in the United States, was an American novelist. Short story writer and journalist. He was awarded the 1954 Nobel Prize in Literature. Ernest Hemingway said, All thinking men are. It is anybody who is thinking. In the Zen, they, they were, it goes when you start learning Zen, mountains are mountains, rivers are rivers, valleys are valleys. As you proceed and reach us, a Good start in the senior post. Then you find uh, mountains are no more mountains, rivers are no more rivers, valleys are no more valleys. And again, after a long time, when you come old or you reach a senior most post, then again mountains are mountains, rivers are rivers, valleys are valleys. <laughs> All thinking men are atheists. Yeah, the more they start thinking, they're thinking too much about the wife. They are not. Thinking that they should melt with the wine. And then beauty happened. They only wanted to shoot the wife, penetrate the wife. They're thinking that if they go inside the wife, they immediately get good. Like the story goes, the, the hen was laying gold, golden egg every day. And one day, the wife told the husband, instead of every day waiting for one egg to come, if you cut the hen, we can could collect all the golden egg. And the husband took the hen, cut it open, and he could find what our men, the atheist thinking men, found. And from that day onwards, it has become a suppression. Mother Teresa ran and picked it up, kept it to her heart and started running. And the people were shocked. He said, Mother, what they brought was old clothes. And Mother ran and took it to her chest, put it to her heart. And she started running and taking it inside. I see she got a new child, a God child, a present from God. But anything, everything, she kept on doing, and people thinking, thinking men think, this is stupidity, how come this holy lady could take the old clothes, 
what does she find in that? But she found gold in that old also. One day I was walking in front of Rakum school and ten, ten houses apart from, away from Rakum school, I saw Acharya ji, Acharya Rakum ji from the third floor carrying huge amount of old newspapers and coming down. I was shocked. I asked, Acharya ji, what is this? And Acharya Rakum ji said, don't worry, this is old. Old is gold. I will convert this old newspaper, sell it and convert it into gold. It was, was truth, yes. But you don't find in the old clothes, old newspapers, gold, but you need your time. All thinking men are it is the moment you start thinking, then you will not want to respect your father and mother. Then you will think all this Guru, Shishya, or Samrita, all this Shastras and all this culture, what you call as Sanskriti, all this humbug, stupid, idiotic. And with all that humbug, stupid, idiotic, when we become old, we are in the old age home. Begging the doctors, and doctors could find no way. Because, not because doctors couldn't find way, they couldn't connect to the purity of trying to understand love. If you say love, they will tell, ask the wife, put it in the bottle and show the love. If you talk about God, can you put in the God in a bottle and show it to us? Like Swami, we went to Ram Krishna Paramahamsa said, can you show me God? Do you think there is God? Where is God? And Ram Krishna Paramahamsa looked at the boy and the boy said, I went to so many, so many, so many masters, nobody could give me an answer. I'm coming to you and asking you. And everybody knows Ram Krishna Paramahams is a madman. When you see the Kali, he will just dance, he will just dance. And he becomes the Kali, he becomes the mother and people crowded around him. Men should have been like that. They see the wife and they should jump and dance and dance and dance till they become the wife. And then the wife and the husband, when they become one, then it is an explosion of beautiful, fantastic, orgasmic experience. Both becoming one. When one, both becoming one, when both become one, the focus is straight right into the target and you hit the bullseye again and again and again and again. You will never miss the target. That was the beauty of growth. That beauty is gone. At least will believe. How could they both become one? And Ram Krishna Paramahamsa stole Ram Vivekananda. Is there God? Where is this? Where is God? He said, I will show you God. And Vivekananda said, show me now. And Ram Krishna Paramahamsa took a bija. A seed. And if you tell the son, the mother takes the bija, the seed of that her husband, the sperm, and tell inside this monkey, you <laughs> grow within him, as this will believe. So, Ram Krishna Paramahamsa took the seed and told Swami Vivekananda, have you seen this is seed? And if I tell you inside the seed, there is a huge big tree. You will think I am a madman, but to, to see this tree in this seed, you have to plant it in a fertile soil, not on the tar road. And you have to water it, you have to protect it by putting the fence so that the cows don't eat it. And one day you see it is a big tree with beautiful branches and a lot of fruits and leaves. And that is the beauty of understanding. That is the beauty of understanding your wife and your children. And your family melting and melting. Even my children couldn't understand me because they couldn't feel that the focus should be on one. The wavering mind is the atheist. He wants everything as a proof. All thinking men are atheist. Ernest Hemingway said, all thinking. The moment you start thinking, you start believing. Of course you can think not a problem. But like the Japanese men were taught, leave your slippers and your mind outside the house, 
shut up your bloody mouth and just sit in the house. You met with your wife and only you and your wife and the children. Don't discuss anything. Moment you go to the office, bloody shut your bloody mouth. Don't open about a wife and children, only the office. When you meet, you see God in your hand. Otherwise, when you come back home, the chanchala will break you. Only thinking and thinking and you are breaking into pieces. Like our farmer's story, four sons fighting for the seat of the father. And father took the big cane, cut it into four pieces, tied it up. No, he put the big cane and told the four sons to break it. Whoever breaks it can take the seed. All the four sons tried and they couldn't break it. Father cut it into four pieces, tied it up. Sorry, father cut it into four pieces and put it on the, on the floor and said, Now take and break it. They broke one by one. Atheists are like that. Mind when it is split, it keeps breaking and they think it is not possible. The moment you and your wife become one and your thinking become one, you and your family become one and the joint family become the family tree, say strong, who will break it? The focus is so strong. In that focus, God resides, love resides, power resides. No devil, no disease, no fear can break you into pieces. 